In this video, I'm going to show you how to protect your email address from spam bots or from scrapers and keep it confidential. Hey guys, my name is Robin. Welcome to Webby Digital channel. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how to protect your email address on your website from scrapers, from spam bots. And a lot of people don't realize this, but when they put their email or address on their website, it's an open game for spammers to start blasting them with junk mail. So in this video, I'm going to show you a simple way to keep your email address confidential and hidden from the public. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do it because we are going to explore so many topics about around digital marketing in this channel so let's get started so here as you can see this is the demo blog here and we have a email that is export but if you want to find if your email is actually exposed to the public you can use an online tool called email privacy the link will be available in the description box what you need to do is just copy the link of your url like i have and find out if if your email on your website is actually exposed or not or can be scraped by a spam bots or some other bots just click on it so the there yes it found it so what is the email admin at webby.com okay scraper uses some software or you know such programming in the way they find only email structure like this okay so what you need to do is or before jumping on to the solution let me tell you how scraper actually works what they scrape actually is this is the structure of my website right so what they scrap is they scrape the html data of your website so here is the html data of your website and what they scrape is all the data and they download data into their server or into their software and they scrape only emails out of it so they use the sim various custom function to use it that's how they scrape your email address so to manipulate this and to disallow them to scrape your email address or scrape your email address on your website you have two things to do it either you can replace this email address like that with the a form or you can build a form on it or you can just put a captcha on it but even for the captcha they use the capture services like to capture to decapture that and take your email address out even in the form they actually give you start gi filling that form using their software like a script box so you will start getting the emails so what i suggest is there's these two method first is use a email encoder and second is using a wordpress plugin so if you are on the wordpress there will be a solution for that also using a lightweight plugin the first is email encoder so i have encoded this email encoder in the code pen you can just found the link in the description box where you will redirect it to this so it's the basic html css structure using bootstrap and and the JS function. So I have used the car code function to translate your email address into such custom code such that basic scrapers won't realize it's the email they are actually scraping. So to test that out, what you need to do is just copy your email address and paste in this and click on encode so it will give you all the encoded characters right here just copy this it will create a hyperlink from tag in the html like a tag so what you need to do is just add it or replace this with this particular code which is already in the html tag form and click on the edit site or you can just go to the photo section or widgets wherever your email are placed so replace this with the code you have already encoded using the email encoder click on preview so it looks good yes click on save so let's just go to the website so there you go so let's just test that out if it's working or not click on submit so it says no email found so the scraper cannot be able to scrape your email address because the email encoder actually coded into the car code characters so the human can obviously just read that or click on it it will open the mail application of your windows or, or ios or mac os wherever you are so you can just copy that and it will they can just send the mail to you so that's the first thing you can actually use it and i will say this is the best thing because installing wordpress plugins or something like that will lead to more security leaks so i won't recommend that so this is actually the perfect way to protect your email from scraping or spam bots so second is using a uh, email encoder wordpress plugin so what you need to do let me just click on edit site and revert this to the original to test if that actually works or not was it saved oh yes saved. so email has been found again so let's go to the wordpress dashboard and click on install plugins or add new plugin search for email encoder there's a bunch of free applications available in the plugin repository just click the first one or you can click any 
of these i will be using this particular plugin here click on activate and go to the settings and here is your email encoder option so it will give you some options here first is full page scan this will check the whole page against any emails and secures them second is wordpress filter secure only emails that occurs within wordpress filters that is not recommended obviously don't do anything so if you want to disable this plugin or don't want to use it you know testing some features out on your website then click on don't do anything so obviously we will do the full page scan here and the second is protect email using automatically the best method which is included in javascript okay so i suggest you to use this particular because it wrap your email under the javascript function which won't give spammer or spam bots your email so there's also a strong method replaces the email which is protection text i won't recommend this because whenever user try to contact you either they just get your email and just contact you straight away or they have to you know do some steps like protective text they click on it and protective text reveals your email so i don't recommend it i just recommend using the including javascript but this is the best way to do it or using a simple html character encoding which does the same which we have built the email encoder right there it does the same thing here is the protective as rss feed that's upon you these are the advanced function or you can just edit anything out just read that out by yourself so it will do things like admin menu custom admin settings or security check or load script encoder etc so these are the advanced functionality here you can easily do that click save and there's also an option where is the email encoder if you want to encode some custom email you can just type that out and it will just use encoding method like html or a javascript or escape method and it will create a protective link and you can just use this particular shortcut to enter into your blog post or custom pages so that's about it let's see okay so i assume it has already done the scan but let me just verify by clicking on inspect element select the selector and clicking on this so yes uh, the id has been changed to this that means it has been protected just close these uh, uh, inspect element let's find out and test if it actually works or not going to the same webby email privacy typing the url here so yes so no email has been found so you can use such method to wrap your email around the protection using javascript which is actually one of the best method to apply into your wordpress blog but i suggest you to go with the email encoder which works the same but there will be i think advanced spam bots there which can actually translate these character coding to their into the email address of course so these are the two method which i have explained here and there can be a much more way to protect your email address or a phone numbers or something like that which we i have described in the blog which is linked in the description box so go to the description box and grab that blog and read it out and there's also another method which i have described there so these are the two method which i have described here one for the generic website and one for the wordpress users so hope you understand how to protect your email on your website from spam or scrapers in this video if you have then please click the like button if you want to see such tutorials in the future click on this that red button if you have something in your mind or question or something you want to ask you have a comment box with you so see you in the next video until then bye bye